Chewy has recently launched their very cheap VI8 priced at $120. What kind of tablet could that kind of money get you from a company like Samsung or Apple? Absolutely nothing. However, Chewy has changed that. For a measly price of $120, you can get a tablet that is far better than the $120 price suggests. The Chewy VI8 is nondescript. This is the tablet that your mother would pick up and ask, when did you buy a Samsung tablet? It looks like any of the other run-of-the-mill tablets out there. The bezels around the screen aren't too big, coupled with the 16-9 aspect ratio, makes the tablet narrower while taller and much more comfortable to hold with one hand, compared to an iPad mini, which is a lot wider, even for someone with small hands like me. It is made of plastic that doesn't give it a premium feel, but also doesn't make it feel too cheap either. Let's say that the plastic used is a happy middle ground between premium and cheap. The Windows logo also features prominently at the bottom of the device and works in both Windows and Android as a home button to go back to the Metro or home screen respectively. When holding the device in portrait mode, the volume and power buttons are located on the right side of the device while the micro USB and earphone jack are located on the top. The micro SD card slot is located on the left. The back of the tablet has a textured plastic back that gives the tablet pretty good traction and gives it a better feel in hand. The back camera is flush with the tablet, so if you place it on the table, be careful not to scratch it. Oh, who cares? The camera is so bad anyway. The Chewy logo is splattered across the back in large font with the back camera above it. The Chinese symbols beside the Chewy logo are actually romanized as Chi Wei, so I'm not sure why they use Chewy instead, unless the company speaks a different Chinese dialect. All in all, the Chewy VI8 feels solid in hand and doesn't feel too bad, especially for a $120 tablet. The relatively slim side bezels make the tablet easy to hold in one hand. Overall, I'm quite happy with the build quality of the Chewy VI8. The Chewy has an 8-inch screen that features a 1280 by 800 resolution. As you probably figured out in my previous reviews of the Ulephone B Pro and King's Own N3 Plus, lower pixel density doesn't bother me too much. I'm perfectly happy with a 720p resolution on a 5-inch screen and even on 5.5-inch screens. However, 800p on an 8-inch screen is getting a little low even with increased viewing distance. Reading ebooks is a little more difficult due to less than sharp characters and games look a little less sharp as well. The brightness of the screen is quite low as well, at about 300 nits of brightness. It is more than enough for usage indoors, but it's unusable if there is any direct sunlight. Viewing angles are good, on par with other high quality smartphone displays. The Chewy VI8 does not feature Gorilla Glass and you can definitely tell. I placed the tablet in my bag without any metal or sharp edges, and when I took it out, there were three small scratchers that were quite visible at certain angles. You definitely have to be careful with this tablet if you want to keep it in perfect condition. A case would definitely help a lot. In addition, the screen is highly reflective as you can tell. Overall, the screen is pretty good. There are some points I don't like about it, but overall it's okay. The rear firing speaker pumps out more than adequate sound quality, definitely enough for listening to music, podcasts, games, and movies. However, it is severely lacking in bass, big explosions in movies sound like firecrackers. I'm quite impressed with the volume of the speakers though. They are more than loud enough for watching action movies in louder environments like a food court and a shopping mall. You might have trouble watching something that has more speech though. A rather small 5000 mAh battery powers the relatively power hungry Intel Z3735 processor and the 8 inch screen. For a tablet, 5000 mAh is quite small and I'm expecting poor battery life. However, let's get down to testing. Battery testing procedures are the same as smartphone procedures. However, I repeated each test twice, one for each operating system. I first tested the battery on Android. I set the brightness to 250 nits, installed Web Reloader, and reloaded a web page every 10 seconds. The Chewy VI8 lasted 4 hours and 25 minutes. I then looped a standard definition video until the tablet died. It lasted for 6 hours and 23 minutes. While these results are about average for tablets, it was a lot more than I was expecting and pleasantly surprised me. The battery discharge curve wasn't consistent. It discharged smoothly from 100% to 7% stayed at 7% for almost 30 minutes, and then continued discharging to 0%. I then performed the same web browsing and video test on Windows and got 4 hours and 32 minutes for web browsing, and 6 hours and 20 minutes for video playback. 
These results are pretty similar between the two operating systems. A more real life example of the battery would be my daily usage, which looks something like this. My tablet was unplugged for 18 hours and I was able to get about 3 hours of screen on time, which consisted mostly of light tasks such as web browsing, news, and note taking. There was about 40% left in the tablet, which is pretty good. In conclusion, the battery life of this tablet exceeded my rather low expectations. This tablet will get you through light use throughout the day, moderate users will have to plug in at night, and heavy users will have to charge it in the evenings. The Chewy VI8 features Android 4.4.4 as well as Windows 8.1. You are able to switch between operating systems by going to the notification shade in Android or the Windows desktop taskbar in Windows. Pressing the button initiates a shutdown on either operating system and boots up the other. Unlike other dual boot systems, you do not have to turn off the tablet before switching operating systems. It does that for you. The Chewy VI8 performs quite well while running Android. General use of this tablet is quite fluid. Swapping between home screens is quite fast, but still not as smooth as the Nexus 9 or the iPad Mini. However, it is as smooth if not smoother than the Galaxy Tab S 8.4. One thing to note is that launching apps is extremely fast. There is no lag at all when launching apps, probably due to Intel's Bay Trail processor. Android on the Chewy comes with a stock launcher and a white themed settings menu. There was also a significant amount of bloatware on the device that was unwanted, and almost all of the apps could be uninstalled without rooting. The Windows side of the Chewy is an absolute pleasure to use. General use in Windows is miles ahead of Android in terms of smoothness, and using the Metro version of Internet Explorer is absolutely amazing as well. The overall user experience is a lot smoother than even the Nexus 9, not only because of firmware optimization, but the Windows 8.1 designers made the animations feel a lot snappier, resulting in what we perceive as increased responsiveness. This is true across all Windows tablets, however, not just this one. However, launching Metro apps is still slightly slower than launching apps on Android. I installed Nova 3 on Android as well as Asphalt 8 on Windows. Both intensive games and they both ran very well with no frame rate slowdowns. One thing to note though, is that this tablet gets very warm easily. The tablet never gets burning hot, but after just a few minutes of gaming and the tablet will start to feel warm. I ran the Antutu benchmark on Android and I got a score of about 33,000. The Chewy VI8 has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth wireless connectivity. Both work as expected and reception is as good as any other tablet or smartphone. Earlier versions of the Chewy VI8 did not have a mini HDMI port, but this version does. If you are going to be using this tablet to take photos at weddings and vacations, just don't. It has a measly 2 megapixel back camera with an even worse lens on it that produces terrible photos in all situations. Sample shots have been provided below. Both the back and front facing cameras are adequate for Skype or Google Hangout calls, but that is about all you should be using this camera for. If you read the entire review, there are many areas where this tablet is lacking. The battery life is average, the build quality is average, and the camera is terrible, even by tablet standards. However, why do I still highly recommend it? One simple reason, the price. There isn't a single name brand tablet that contains these kinds of specifications in this price range. All $120 will get you is maybe a mid-range tablet that is two generations old. Even among Chinese tablets, the Chewy VI8 is still cheap. Its closest Chinese competitors, the Teclass X80H, the Honda V819W, and the Pipo W4 are all around the same price, and either have less RAM, only one operating system, or a smaller battery. It's no wonder the Chewy VI8 is low in stock everywhere. Among name brand tablets, the Samsung Galaxy Tab 4 8.0 is Samsung's closest competitor to the Chewy, and both these tablets trade blows while costing almost $100 more. So. If you need a tablet and want to spend as little as possible, buy this. If you don't need a tablet and want a cheap one to play around with, buy this. If you found $120 on the side of the road, buy this. Oh, and there's bound to be coupon codes to bring the price down even further. I've actually seen the price go down to as low as 90 US dollars. At that price, it would be a crime not to buy it. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Hey guys, if you found this video helpful, click the like button and check out my other videos above as well.